No, the dog. Not Max. Welcome to the Coco Couch. My name's Oscar, and I love having Coco on my couch. And today we'll be watching A Time to Kill. Uh, I know that Matthew McConaughey's in it. I know that Sandra Bullock's in it. And also Samuel L. Jackson. But I don't know anything about this movie. It's my first time watching. Uh, so I'm keen to get into it. So without further ado, let's go. The heck was that? Oh no, I know where this is going. Oh no. This is one of those movies. What's the time period? What the heck, man? Just compensating because they have such meaningless lives. They have to take it out on other people. Hey, they're trying to figure out what makes women happy. You have spent four marriages trying to figure out what makes you happy. Who <laughs> Oh no, I don't want this girl to get hurt. Get out of there. No! No, I don't. No. I didn't want to see that. What awful human beings. And he's their dad. He's the dad. Oh my gosh. Now I know why this movie's called A Time to Kill. That's so sad. You have to be such an evil person to do that. Oh, she's all cut up too. Yeah. Serves him right and more. Disgusting. I, I just don't... I don't... I try to... Empathise with every kind of human. But I just... I, I will or... Like, I cannot understand... Anyone who is like this. I, I, I can't. It's evil. It's pure evil. I'm assuming he's there to ask him to defend him. Oh, but nothing's happened yet. I don't know what it's like to love someone like as much as these guys love their daughters, but even then, I, I get it. Your entire job as a father is to protect your family. And when something like that happens to your family, it's... It's heartbreaking. He looked pretty serious to me. You should talk to your parents. Might be too late. I didn't think I was going to be watching a movie that's started off it's like such a heartbreaking start to the film. You know I'm a fool for that. Hey, it's Sandra Bullock. Upstanding, God-fearing, respectable Southern woman with unimpeachable morals who has been happily married for 27 years. And I have never had or ever will have any boyfriend. <laughs> and if I did, it certainly would not be that old pickled scoundrel, Lucian Wilbank. That was extremely defensive. <laughs> yeah, oh, obviously. <laughs> If these two evil men don't get a fair sentence, I'm going to flip out. Oh boy.
Mate. Just like that. With everyone there too. I mean, regardless of what those two men did, like... That would be terrifying to have been in that room. Why'd they leave? What's happening? Does he have blood on him? Oh, yeah, she must have seen that. Yeah, yeah. Straight away was like, let's go back inside, kiddo. Oh, man, this poor guy. Oh, this poor man. Just witnessing murders like that would be horrifying. That's such a difficult position too, because they sympathize with his decision to do that. But at this time, they probably couldn't have just, they, they can't really do anything about it. Also, it's interesting the fact that they didn't need to, like, restrain him or anything. They just, they just let him walk into the police car because they knew that he's probably a really good person, but it totally makes sense why he shot those guys and that they know that he's not actually a real danger to anyone else. Did Samuel L. Jackson do any other roles that were, like, big for him before this? Or was this kind of, like, his first big breakout role as well whoa that's such a gamble For sure, right? He's right. Are you calling Haley's attorney? Sir, are you Mr. Haley's attorney? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Ah! <laughs> Why did I know that Matthew McConaughey was going to say it exactly like that? And today ain't even my birthday. <laughs> of course, this is the bad guy. He has a greater chance of color in the jury box, and you know what that means. But if the trial stays here, it's an all white jury for sure. That's awful. Like, to strategically try to get this other guy to lose. Like, I know it's their job, but... Why is it the one they've been waiting for? It's hard to change events. It's President Snow or Mr. Bennett. You know, you can win this case. Justice will prevail. But lose. Yeah. And justice will also prevail. Now that's a strange case. That is a very weird situation to be in, isn't it? Sure, I'm sorry about your brother, Freddie. Or Willard, too. Good boys, both. Good boys? Really? Do they even know the, their own? Hang by the end of a rope with his balls in his mouth. Tell me what's wrong with this country. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, there's still some boys around. Oh, you mean them skinheads? Want to blow up the government? No, sir. Are we part of the KKK? This whole thing is just going to blow up. Mine tend to show that good men and women of the South and their past color and food proof are here in the South and New South. Justice is and will be colorblind. The black people who fought Impressive. Black Honey, that was really... Yeah. That was a that was a smooth line. <coughs> Epley Bailey's office. Okay. It's probably a threat. Hey, hey, hey. Yikes. What do you think of Mr. Brigance? Isn't that boy still in law school? Say hey to your husband for me, kid, that's all. It's good to be confident, but having a massive ego and having that much pride is never a good way to approach any situation but it's good though it makes you want this guy to lose even more because of how much pride he has now, governor buckley cannot oppose a request until one is made he should have learned that in law school your honor <laughs> <laughs> well, in the future why don't we just wait till he makes the request thank you your honor, yeah. your honor wrecked 
What did she give him? Did she just save this skin? Failure to properly consider a change of venue has been a reversible decision on appeal to the state Supreme Court. Oh. Oh. Okay. Not a terrible start. They're able to put in the requests. I don't want to know how you do it. Just get me enough to shatter him in court. We can do that. Taylor. Dang. These guys are terrible. Me too, Jay. I need to live too. Yeah, but... I... <laughs> I get where both of them are coming from, but he's like, I need to live. I'm like, yeah, well, if you pay him, <laughs> then he can let you live. <laughs> you work alone. You have no paralegals, no clerks, no researchers, nor can you afford to hire any. So if I Yeah, he needs help. He can't do all this by himself, right? Oh, my father's filthy rich, so I'll be working for free. Sounds like a pretty good deal to me. Thank you, Rowan. I can handle the case myself. You'll change your mind. <laughs> it's alright, she's she's planted the seed in his mind. He's gonna he's gonna want to have her on his side later. Oh, these the clan members meeting up. Just waiting for the opportunity to deliver God's justice. I wanna help. How can you say God's justice when God was all about every human being being the same value? It's so dumb and twisted. Here's wife and a daughter. Good. You know exactly what they're thinking and it's disgusting. This is such a crazy story. Just this one guy trying to protect this this uh this black man. And he's under fire from cl clans and an opposing uh, team of lawyers. It's it's crazy. It's But I really hope he wins. I really hope something happens that gives him the upper chance. Upper, upper hand. What's going on here? Oh, I see. Right. Makes sense. It's like he didn't want, he didn't mean to do any of this, but. Boy. I wonder how this guy's going to handle it. Dang. Boys, I'm very proud to invite you to become soldiers. I just feel ill whenever these people are on screen. Absolutely disgusting. Jake, he shot them in cold blood. They raped and almost murdered his daughter, Sarah. Yeah. Almost the same thing happened to him. Yeah, exactly. Excuse me. You can see some of the prejudice in some of his closest friends as well, though. You can see extreme examples of obvious racism in this movie, particularly the the criminal act at the beginning of the film and then you've got an opposite character like the character Matthew McConaughey's playing who's like such a good man who's supporting him but it's it's interesting seeing all the little bits sprinkled throughout the movie that are kind of like in the middle where they're not like extreme examples of anything but you can see it manifesting in different people just from their like their perspectives and their views it's just interesting to see um racism manifest in different ways whether it's subtle or extreme Oh boy. What evil people. Welcome to the clan. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not a fan of watching anything that reminds me of how much evil is actually in the world sometimes. I know there's there's an equal amount of good, but man. What was that about? Oh no. That's terrifying. And why the cross, man? This is just a couple of doors. Don't spend much time on their hands and too many beers, okay? I mean, don't be ignorant to the problem. That you missed supper and didn't even bother to call? Or that lately you've become much more interested in getting your face on the news than what's going on with your own family? You never called Sheriff Wall? I didn't call him, Miss. 
It's so sad, the situation the family's in. How about the other one? Oh, no. There was too much pain. She ain't even know how to keep it. Oh. Poor, poor, sweet girl. So evil. You can get in the car. I'm home. Where? You know that Bud has survived two strokes. I don't think he would survive a third. Yeah, everyone associated with him now is being threatened. Isn't it horrible that, like... I mean, it happens today. Like, anyone who is the subject of a, something controversial, everyone in their community is affected by it. Well, let me ask you something, real. How much of that cash you offer my wife to keep? Oh, that money is to, to go to pay for lawyer fees and stuff like that. That ain't what you told the church, now, is it? Yeah. Well, you cried when you told them people how my family might starve if they didn't donate all they could, didn't you? Wow. For you, man. So we thought it would be better spent on, on the legal defense. See, I hate when people ask for money, but they but they're not they they their excuse for using it for some other reason is to say that it's it's not exactly a lie, but it isn't like the whole truth. It's it's stupid. It's the same thing. It's manipulating people to get what you want. If you don't give my wife that cash, I'm gonna be sure that everybody in this town knows you a lying crook. I'm sure your congregation. Whoa. We'll expect to check them ahead of time. Just have to name all the neighbors. Woo wee. You out there, Jay? I'm in here. We ain't no team. Oh come on. He's doing the most he can to help him. And I know it's kind of like a little reminder though. It's not necessarily saying that he doesn't then they're not a team. It's more just saying, I wanna remind you that I'm the one whose life is at stake right now. Be with me as you will. Looking forward to it. Ew. I am sure that I don't need any help. Thank you though. It's okay. I don't know why he isn't accepting all the help that he can get. Miss Devana, in short, you now have the opportunity to work on a case that matters. Let me get this straight. You want it's a good challenge. Come work with you on an unwinnable, bleeding heart, lose all my friends, straight to the gas chamber case, because it matters? Or does it not Why not? You have all the money and you have nothing else you're really living for, so... Someone's going to die tonight. Who's... Is it someone inside the KKK that's actually, like, there as a spy that's helping people? Family out of the house? Yeah. Better say what's inside there. Come on, find out what it is. That's a legitimate bomb. Yes. Dang. That was quick, though. That's nuts. That just got super hectic. Daddy, are you coming to Grand Hog? Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's when, as a dad, you're just like, kids, my, my family, you gotta go. If they didn't get that phone call, they would have blown up. Watch, don't make your wife promise. I, I get really frustrated when I see situations like that happen when like the, the wife or the husband's really frustrated with the other person because they want them to be safe and then they won't see them for a while. But then the way that they say goodbye is a, there's like a little bit of like resentment. Why aren't you trying to milk the most of that situation? You know, give them a good hug, like kiss them, like tell them you love them before they could potentially like get killed or something. You know what I'm saying? It's just like... I know you're frustrated and scared, but... You sure you want to be known as the man that defended that murderer? Who was very unpopular. Talk to your client. He's going to be known as a lawyer that works on cases because he knows it's morally the right thing to do. Oh, 
Oh, I hope nobody gets hurt here. Oh. Oh no, it's her husband. Next time people are gonna die. <laughs> people suck. Parking job, late night. Oh no, <laughs> that reaction. That was so good. The genuine shock. I hope um, he doesn't have like a little fling with her or something while his family's gone. The only problem with the death penalty rule is that we do not use it enough. Okay, Pete, well, how do you decide who dies and who doesn't? Well, you strap his ass to the chair to flick the switch. You know, for some reason, I, I, I thought you were a liberal. <laughs> well, I am a liberal, though. The only problem with the death sentence is that too many people get wrongly convicted. One person dying who's innocent is more than enough. Like, that's one person too many. That's right, just what I, I think. I suggest pride seeking convince me that this JFK meets Jesus Christ, white boy. Is that, is that what it is? Or is it because you're just another repressed, hypocritical son of provincial who maybe didn't want to be seen around town with a woman like myself? Take your time, Mr. Briggins. She was so, like on his side and interested for so long and then he just said um his take on the death penalty and that was enough for her to just absolutely leave which is interesting because it shows that she cares very very much about her values i don't like your politics roark but you do have passion and that's something carly Haley sorely needs right now and maybe so do i it's a good point that was kind of a good audition all right everybody jury selection begins this afternoon now to win this case, we need a sympathetic jury, a jury willing to acquit. All right. We got the team together. Let's go. It's so odd. I cuz I don't I don't know much about the legal system, but that's super interesting. That's a jury in my opinion. There was like no one black on the the um, jury. It's all so wrong. This this movie is just making me so upset the entire way through. I just feel terrible watching this movie. The movie is great, but it it does a perfect job at making you feel terrible about just some humans in general. Oh my gosh. Oh, and he just let him... He just left him. Why aren't there more people stopping this? No. 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 Oh. oh that was close. That could have been so much worse. Yeah, and they can't really do much about it. Team. Besides trying to kill each other in town square, you got discos or strip bars or malls or anything. Oh boy. I hope she doesn't try anything funny. The hell is it? Then you'll drive an hour and a half outside of town to take me to dinner, but you have no problem walking into my motel room. Everything's going on. Because he's drunk. Don't sit right there. It's too close. So tonight, go over the back room and watch. Go in separate rooms and go to sleep. You have a wife. So you're meant to turn around and go the other way way before you get there. That was too close. Whose house is on fire? Is that his house? Oh no, not, no, the dog. Not Max. Oh, 
evil guy is probably part of the clan. So is the military all coming in because the the KKK's attacking and they're trying to make sure there aren't any, um, you know, like bombs or attacks or anything? Damn, they lost everything. Imagine spending most of your life working up to a place where you've collected all these things, you've created a life for yourself, and then it all just gets burnt away. Drop the case. No, can't. Oh, I'm not even gonna quit. Being on the case isn't the problem. It's, it's his way with dealing with the stress of it. It's wrong. The way that he drinks, the way that he almost cheated. The way he's pushed his family away. Still here. Still here. You got your goods, huh? huh? I'm so glad Max is okay, though. You say your son was 23 when he died? Yes. Well, in those 23 years, Mrs. Cobb, how many other children did your son kidnap? Objection, Your Honor. Objection. It's sustained. Dang, that's hard. Prints on the gun match those of Carl Lee Hill. You sure? Yes. Your Honor, I'd like to enter this into evidence as Exhibit S-18. We have no further use of this witness. That was so rude. Well, we are not trying to rape of Miss Haley today, but the, the murder of two young men. And if you continue in this performance... I don't like the judge, and I don't like their opposition. Court is adjourned to tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock. It's ridiculous how they're trying to exclude the fact that the murderer's daughter was raped. It's terrible. It's like, how is that not relevant to the murder? Some folks think that's brave. Not me, Jake. I mean, they win. But I think they call it loss, too. I think, in the grand scheme of things, if he wins, everyone wins. She doesn't have, uh... A worldwide sort of um, perspective of the situation. I get that he's put them all in danger by trying to save this man, but in the grand scheme of history, what he's doing is good for everyone, for humanity. This is going to be interesting to see what he says. I'm so sorry for him. Like, he's genuinely a good man that was wanting to do the right thing, and he just happened to get the ricochet of that whole situation. He did what I would have done. What, what do you mean by that, oh. Mr. Young? I mean, I don't blame him for what he did. Those boys raped his little girl. Objection, you're on. Yes, mate. What a guy. He got shot by his friend, and he still managed to stick up for him. You turn him loose! Your Honor, you yeah, silence that witness! Oh, turn him loose! Lost a leg. Lost most of his life. And he's going against everyone to make sure that he's freed. Carl Lee Haley knew very well what he was doing. He slaughtered those men in cold blood. Thank you, Doctor. Well, we will not need a recess, Your Honor, but just a few moments. She just came in clutch, man. You testified that Dan Baker was legally sane. The jury disagreed with you, and Mr. Baker was found not guilty by reason of insanity. And it would be fair to say that you find insane people sane for the purposes of trial. Objection, Your Honor. Get wrecked. Yes. Oh, no. No, I hope... No, don't assassinate someone. Stop murdering people. Ah. Oh. Why are some people so evil? Don't do Come any on, funny business. Yeah. So you better go. Man. Because that's what he's got to do in this situation. Like, I know it's hard, but he's got to make as many morally good choices as he possibly can. Oh no. Get out of the car. 
Oh god, no. No, I hope someone help. No, no, no. Oh no, don't. Please, someone save her. Come on, man. Is this is this the guy that was calling uh, the family earlier? You're telling me and this jury that on October 17th, 1960, you were not convicted of statutory rape? The fact that he's letting him say stuff for this guy, for this lawyer, and he's not allowing the other lawyer, uh, Matthew McConaughey, to say the things that he needs to say, it's, it's so biased. Would you like to look at these visual images and see if they refresh your memory? None, Your Honor. Come on. Dang. Had nothing for that. You think the world needed me beating cops heads on that picket line? I was needed here, in that courtroom, and now I can never plead a case in there again. But you can. Dang. You're an attorney. That's probably why he drinks so much. He's trying to cope with the fact that he he failed to be the man that he wanted to be. I guess that's why he loves uh, his protege so much, is because... He probably sees him as a younger version of himself that still has the potential to um, be a hero and and do the right thing. I'll never go in another courtroom again. He's gonna he's going to before the end of this movie. He'd have to, right? Dang, I feel really sorry for um, Mr. Bennett. <laughs> All the while, I kept hearing my baby say that. Thank you, Mr. Hale. That'd be a horrible thing to experience as a dad. To not be there when, when your child needs protecting. You feel like you would have failed at your role, your duty. Do you think two men who hang a child should be free in 10 years? No. Well, what do you think should happen to them? What would be a fair set? Do you think they deserve to die, Mr. Hale? Yes, they deserve to die, and I hope they burn in hell! Dang it. He got to him. I mean, that was really smart, though, from the um, evil <laughs> lawyer. The evil lawyer. How'd we do? He's got a great attitude for someone who's just been almost beaten to death. Make one hell. They do make a great team. I just can't confuse that with um, being perfect for each other. If you really have to, just kiss her on the head or something. There you go. I hate how they're happy about it. It's like, what's going on? It meant to be this neutral sort of perspective as a jury where you look at things objectively you don't smile or find gratification in having someone convicted to die where's hannah i left at mother and baby's we were trying to make things right i thought you took this case because you wanted to prove to everybody what a big time lawyer you were you took this case because because words had hurt hannah the way that they hurt Tanya, you would have killed them yourself. Yeah, exactly. I thought I was going to lose you. That was... That was beautiful. You see me like that jury sees me. You are them. But you was on that jury. What would it take to convince you to set me free? That was really good. That's exactly what he needed to hear. Knowing something is wrong does not give any of us a right to kill. Carl Lee Haley is guilty. I feel like that approach was maybe a bit too um, personal or passionate. You know, he's in this weird position where he he's gonna they're gonna gas someone to death okay what's he gonna say i am young and i am inexperienced but the 
see in all this legal maneuver. Oh wow, he's finally came back in. And he gets to see it. Oh, that's awesome. It is incumbent upon us lawyers not to just talk about this. I love how as soon as he was in the room and he saw him, he had so much more conviction with what he was saying. I set out to prove a black man could receive a fair trial in the South. That's not the truth. Because the eyes of the law are human eyes. Until we can see each other as equals, justice is never going to be even-handed. That's true. Yeah. And not with our minds where fear and hate turn commonality into prejudice, but with our hearts. I'm going to ask you all to close your eyes. This is a story about a little girl. And she's a picture of this little girl. Suddenly a truck races on her. Two men jump out and grab her. They drag her into a nearby field and they tie her up. And they rip her clothes from her body. Now they climb on. First one, then the other. Raping her. Shattering everything in this house. I'm sure. Vicious stuff. <laughs> and when they're done, after they killed her tiny womb, Murdered any chance for her to bear children, to have life beyond her own. This is like news we've always had, that news. Imagine the noose falling tight around her neck, a sudden blinding jerk. She's pulled into the air and her feet and legs start kicking and they, they don't find the ground. They drive out, foggy through the field. They pitch her over the edge. She drops some 30 feet. Down to the creek bottom below. Can you see her? Soaked in their urine. A little girl. Now imagine she's white. The defense rests on this one. I don't know what to say to that. That's amazing. <laughs> what a way to finish the trial. <laughs> hey, I'm one of the bad guys, remember? Oh, it's such a beautiful shot. What an ending. <sighs> All right. And that was a time to kill. Far out. I, I, I had no idea what I was in for starting that movie. What a film. I... I loved it and I hated it. I, I hated it because of all the themes that were focused on and the, the racism and the, the murdering and the, you know, the clan stuff. But um, it was a beautiful movie about where our search for truth comes comes from. Does it come from our mind or does it come from our hearts? And it was a beautiful way to end the, end the movie with finding truth being a, a thing that we seek after through our hearts, not our minds. And... It was just a beautiful, a beautiful monologue from Matthew McConaughey at the end there. That was, that was incredible. I, I personally decided to close my eyes. I, I get really in the movies when I'm watching them. He, he told the jury to close their eyes, so I just thought I might as well do it too. Put myself in their, that, their perspective and, oh, mate, it was uh, really, really confronting. And that last line with now imagine that girl is white far out incredible movie but yeah lots of uh lots of lots of tears in that one uh but anyway <laughs> thank you for once again joining me on the coco couch uh please like and subscribe uh i hope you guys had a really good time and i'll see you all next time